everybody, it's Twisted here, and welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2019. Now, there's some big changes here. As you can tell, I am no longer in the county line area. Um, since the last time I had a chance to record, there was a gentleman who made me an offer on that farm that I couldn't refuse. Um, so basically, I was able to come up here to Alberta, Canada. Um, after selling off that farm and all the equipment with him with it. I sold it as a as a package deal um, I moved up here to Alberta, Canada and found a plot of land for fairly cheap had a house built and uh, Had some uh, some farm buildings put up. Uh, there was a couple on the farm already from the guy that I bought it from however uh, I'm not gonna tell you how much I actually sold that other property with all the equipment for However, I will tell you this much, I was able to buy the plot of land up here and put up a couple of buildings and still have, you know, $3.4 million left over. Uh, that being said, this time around, um, I will tell you guys this much, Seasons mod is not in on this one. Um, I'm willing to sacrifice that though for the time being because this map is not finished yet um, So I'm willing to sacrifice that for the time being um, Just to to be able to play on this map because it has a lot of other features that I enjoyed from 17 um, Which you guys will see as the season progresses anyway or as the, the series progresses so anyway, um, I've got the all I have left of the other places. I've got my trusty Mac Anthem um, and a 53-foot box filled with all my stuff. So we're going to go ahead and head over to the house now. Um, I've been up here before once off camera. Uh, basically, when I saw this farm up for sale... Um, Basically, I wanted to come up here and check it out to make sure that I wasn't going to be taking a big loss. Um, and actually, I'm not. So, this guy up here has all of his, all of the fields already planted. Basically, everything is ready to harvest as we speak. So, we're going to have to, to cut to the nitty gritty here to kind of, you know, we're going to have to move pretty quick because we need to get this stuff out. Um, basically, I took a massive profit off of... The other farm moving from that farm to this one including all the building um, all the building erection and stuff like that the silos being put up and all of that um, i would like to see if i can maximize the profit off of this so that way we can actually grow this farm into something much much bigger um, fortunately due to the resources that are available in this area i can actually grow this farm much bigger than i ever could have over on uh, over in the county line area so this is the house here so we're gonna go ahead and pull in here and get this trailer up to the garage so that way we can get it unloaded all right guys well I'm not gonna bore you guys with the part of uh, doing all the moving in so uh, I'll, I'll catch you guys once it's all moved in All right, guys, we are back. Um, that didn't take nearly as long as I thought. I guess I don't have as much stuff. Uh, we stopped that, uh, you know, I stopped at about 8.39 this morning. Um, it's about 12.40 now in the afternoon. So we're going to go ahead and close up our trailer here. We're going to move out. Um, Fortunately and unfortunately, we have a lot of work to do, so we won't be able to uh, won't be able to unpack fully yet. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get this trailer over here just for now. Go over to the uh, to the shop and start buying some equipment. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back to the store. See if we can get some equipment going here for us.
Yeah, so guys, it definitely has been a while. Um, unfortunately, I've had to kind of slack up on recording a little bit because I was doing a little work on a 5M server um, as of recent. So I had to kind of take some time to focus on that. So I do apologize. I did not mean to leave you guys hanging. However, uh, I did have to take care of that for a pretty good amount of time. But now that has normalized and everything is back in full swing. Um, so I should be able to get more content out to you guys. So now we're here back at the store. And I'm not going to bore you guys with looking through the catalog, so give me just a little bit and I'll be back once more. Alright guys, so we are back, um, sorry about that, however, this is kind of a problem, let's see if I can get this unstuck here, there we go, oh, 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 there we go, so, I just unloaded a bunch of cash on, uh, on farm equipment here, so hopefully we should have enough equipment to get us through this first harvest without any problems. That being said, however, um, if there is anything else, because I thought sure I saw like a field full of soybeans, um, or not soybeans, uh, sugar beets, that we can, we can uh, rent any other equipment that we need. Um, I generally tried to get stuff that was all purpose for right now. We'll focus on the more detailed stuff later. Let's see here. Do I have anything? Do I have anything that's in corn at the moment? I do. Field 28 is in corn, and it looks like it's harvestable. So I think that's where we're going to start out. So we're actually going to run this down. gonna run this we're just gonna road it over there um, get it unfolded and ready and get this working on corn I know that this is kind of a really hectic time to, to perform a move basically but uh, I'm not gonna let this opportunity pass me by because like I was saying earlier uh, this area, it grants so much more in terms of basic capabilities for the farm. There's more land here that's available for cheaper prices and there's more things to do because eventually I'd like to break into the livestock world and then go from there. So we're just going to try to see Try to get off the side of the road here. That way we're not uh, we're not putting all this weight on the actual asphalt. Even though yeah, I think this I can't tell if this is an asphalt road or concrete. Could just be faded asphalt. Could also be concrete. Uh, as asphalt gets old, they tend to look similar over time. Yeah, see, there's the sugar beet field that I was talking about. So that one we'll probably have to rent equipment for if I don't decide to plow those under if we get to them before they, uh, they decide to wilt. All right, 
right, now that we're going down our own dirt road here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the harvester unfolded. I think we can actually get to this from the actual farm area here. I think that driveway goes out to the field that we're after. Ah, yes, it does. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and get started on this. That's accurate. That's uh, that's not bad for a yield. 195 bushels to the acre. The soil must have been really well taken care of. This soil must have been really well taken care of. We're actually filling up pretty quick. I may have to... Well, I'm going to try to see if I can get these headland passes done and then uh, try to see if I can run over to the store and grab a grain cart and get it over here. I guess we're already 55, 57 bushels in the bin. As big as this cornfield is, though, I might not have enough storage for this. We may have to sell some of this off. No, that's the thing is that the guy who put this out uh, this this map was originally built by forum armadi uh, the same guy that you know those of you may know who did the t800 series uh, he's got a peterbilt 389 flat top in the works um, don't know whether or not that one's ever going to get released or not but this is you know same guy that did this map and here's my here's my actual thoughts is this map seasons compatible for me at least at this moment no um, I'm having an issue where for some reason after the second day or day two at six o'clock at night or 1800 hours for some reason I lose all control of everything like character won't move uh, I'm not sure what error it's throwing I can actually look into it I just haven't um, for the sake of recording, I just, I wanted to, I wanted this map to work as flawlessly as I could make it work. Um, 
because I don't know what is actually causing the issue with that. It could be an, an additional mod that I have. It could be something in the map scripting. I don't know. Other than that, though, this map is beautiful. To me, this map is absolutely beautiful. This map so far is more... I know it's Canadian, but it's more American than any other map I've ever seen so far. Um, yes, I'm not pulling a full 60 frames per second as you guys are probably getting. I know my recording is kind of lagging a bit. Um, something is going on with my OBS for that. I'm not exactly sure what. Because when I'm playing this game, it's actually smooth. But for some reason, my recording is not getting it that way. So I'm not sure what exactly is going on there. Um, but also, people, keep in mind, I have like 900 mods in my mod folder. And this map is still functioning flawlessly. Now, that also being said, it does have a couple of bugs. It has a couple of trees that are floating in some places and stuff like that. That being said, this map was not supposed to be released yet. Please understand that. This map was not supposed to be released yet. It was leaked, so instead of going completely underground, the author of this decided that it would be a good idea to at least give out a, a version of this map that is working, that is playable. As opposed to just saying, no, to hell with you guys, I'm, not, I'm going private with it it'll never see the light of day so you have to give props for that yeah my recording is nowhere near as smooth as my gameplay is so that's something that's on my end um, not so much the PC more the recorder So I will try to definitely work on that to make sure that I'm getting you guys more flawless, uh, flawless videoing. For some reason, it doesn't seem to have this problem on any other game that I've played, except for Farm Sim. Um, maybe Farm Sim is just using more RAM. I don't know for a fact. This is ridiculous. This thing's almost 80% full. 290 bushels. And I'm not even I'm not even halfway done with the first round. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not think I'm gonna have enough storage for all of this. And that's just this field. what I may do for the sake of uh, for the sake of being able to unload properly I may flip this thing around and head back the other direction or I might just back out to the point where you know my auger is out where over a clean area which is kind of a pain in the rear but I have plenty of headland here I have plenty of room between me and the lake here to do that so jeez this is a massive field I might need to pick up a second harvester for this Jeez, 363 bushel bin full to the brim and I'm not even halfway done <laughs> with the first pass. This is crazy. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, between this episode and next I may end up having to pull a second harvester. Alright. 
So let's come over here. Okay, that was kind of weird. Let's come over here, grab my uh, case. Grab the auger wagon, and let's see if we can get over there and uh, get that thing offloaded. Okay, let's just lay those over really quick.
All right, so now that we are here with the auger wagon, we're going to see... See, that should fill up pretty good. Alright guys, that's about all the time that I have for this episode. So, if you like what you see here, I know this video probably wasn't the greatest. However, it is a perfect start for me to get into a new map um, with new gameplay. So, I like it. <laughs> but if you liked it too, then make sure that you click the like button down below. Also, make sure that you click the subscribe button for any, any and all new content that's going to be coming up on this channel. Um, make sure you click the little bell icon as well so that way you know when I upload. Thank you guys once again all so much for watching and supporting me through everything. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.